Hey everybody, I'm Jamie. And I'm Joe. And we're from Satchmo's Barbecue, and we're taking over this month's DIY video for Home Co. And today we're talking turkey. We're gonna start off initially here with, a, this is a bone-in breast. Uh, Joe, do you remember about how many pounds this was? 10, 10 pounds. About a 10 pound uh, bone-in breast. You can get these just about anywhere. Um, a lot of people kind of gravitate towards the white meat. I know these two guys right here in our houses, we go, we're, we're diving for the legs and the thigh meat every time. But we wanted to kind of start today with talking a little bit about doing this bone-in breast and a, a couple really good approaches to that. So what Joe's gonna do first is he's gonna he's gonna cut the back off of this bird. Right now you're kind of you can kind of see he's following the rib cage down, and his ultimate goal is to get in here and separate this backbone off of this turkey breast. Yep. So right here, I just pull, separate it from the joints right there, and then you take your knife, come in, cut that around. He kind of gets a natural cut line when he peels that back. It kind of separates those joints right there and then he can follow that. Um, the great thing about this method is you flip that over, it's got its own built-in stand. So all I'll do here is I'll just trim up a little of this excess fat and we're ready to go. So right away, we've got our backbone cut off the turkey breast. Uh, our next step is we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna put him right into the smoker. You know, every good smoke starts with some wood. Um, this is a maple cherry blend, which is probably my two most favorite woods when it comes to uh, poultry. Poultry, unlike red meat, um, is, is like a sponge when it comes to uh, absorbing smoke on a smoker. So always keep that in mind when you're cooking, but uh, we're gonna put some of these Traeger uh, hardwood pellets in there. They've got all different sorts of varieties. Uh, I know over at Satchmo's, we're, we're using hickory, pecan, uh, and cherry primarily. So, um, but I really do love the maple addition to this cherry blend. Uh, I tell you what, if they've got this over there, this is the blend you wanna use for your Thanksgiving turkey. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna drop that back on the smoker. Uh, we're loading this turkey back at about 225, 250 degrees. You're gonna find that most of what we're cooking uh, today is gonna be right in that 250 plus range. We're looking to get some color and some smoke flavor on this. We're gonna use this in your turkey base. If you need some stock, replace it with anything that asks for water, replace it with the turkey, the turkey ingredients. Of course, unless you've got a vegan in the house. All right, so what we're gonna kind of talk about here, uh, this is a method to really just impart a little more flavor uh, on the turkey breast itself. And this could, you could use this uh, kind of approach for any of the turkey styles that you're doing. A whole turkey, spatchcock turkey, pieced out, yep. right? Pretty much anything. So Joe's gonna get underneath his skin. You know, we, we prefer at Satchmo's when we're doing this to kind of come from that front side rather than that back side. Um, and you can see Joe's carefully getting his hands underneath there. He's really taking special care not to tear the skin. Um, it's not the end of the world if you do it, but boy, if you could, uh, you could not tear the skin, it's a, it's a heck of a lot better. Yeah, and it looks better at the end result too when you go to carve it the skin stays nice like that. Absolutely, so what he's done is he's kind of spread, he's kind of spread those two pieces there. Um, actually separating this is gonna help the skin render a little bit better as well. Yeah, it'll, um, it'll end up with crispier, crispier end result for you. Okay, yeah. excellent. Uh, another thing that we're doing here, we, got, we just kind of got a couple displays. This is good old fashioned, just standard butter. Uh, you know, any school of thought, salted, unsalted, um, I'm kind of whatever happens to be in my house at the time. At Satchmo's, we're going to use an unsalted because it's going to allow us to season it exactly to the flavor that we want. Um, when we're doing our turkeys at Satchmo's, we'll do an herb butter, which will soften a little bit butter. We'll throw it into a, uh, a processor, some fresh herbs, citrus. Um, lemon zest. Lemon zest is killer, killer underneath the turkey. A smoked turkey, uh, smoke and citrus just lend really well together. Um, we talked about herb butter. This is a little fun that we have every year. We, we go out and get some lobster mushrooms and we will, take, um, we will take this and cook this down and we get this really fun orange butter uh, with this incredible umami flavor that comes from it. Uh, there's a natural MSG that happens in mushrooms anyway and we love the flavor and the extra oomph that we get from the, uh, from the lobster mushroom so how do you, as well. How do you do that? You just put, put the the lobster mushrooms in a pan, yeah. butter, and render it down? That's pretty much it, man. Yeah, we, cool. we basically clean these really good, chop them up, and we throw them in uh, about 30, 40 pounds of butter 
uh, to about 20 pounds of lobster mushrooms. And we cook those down for anywhere from four to six hours. Uh, and you can't, you can't miss out on, uh, on throwing a chunk of that lobster mushroom butter on the well, grill. There's do. nothing better they than do. that. So this is just a standard stick of uh, unsalted butter that we had here. Joe's gonna throw those in. We're placing the butter in here. A lot of times we like to kind of stick it up here around the top because it's gonna melt and it's gonna do this thing here. When you get some herbs in there as well, those herbs will kind of distribute across the, uh, the breast itself. And a another thing that I didn't mention is when you're getting in there underneath that skin, try to keep this sealed down here. All that's gonna do is when that butter starts to melt, it's just gonna hold it in there. It's kind of, it's kind of naturally sealed together anyway. We're breaking that seal by getting underneath there, but that's gonna naturally hold that butter in there um, and just give you this amazing succulent uh, turkey breast when it's said and done. And we're good to go on the Traeger. So make sure when you're smoking your turkey or you're cooking anything long-term on a smoker, you're paying attention to it. Um, don't be afraid to take a turkey that you're seeing brown a little bit on one side and spin it. Spin it 180 degrees so it's gonna get, it's gonna get cooked evenly. You wanna make sure everything's cooked evenly. Um, grills, smokers, everything has a hot spot, even ovens. So you set something down, it might cook perfect, or you set it two inches over and it might cook a little bit hotter in another spot. All right, so we're on about two and a half hours on this bird. We just tempted it. It's coming in at about 160. We're gonna go ahead and pull this right now because we know we're gonna get at least five degrees of carryover temp on this turkey. But it's pretty much that simple. Hoped uh, some of the pointers today helped and uh, happy smoking. Thanks for coming and hanging with us today while we smoked some turkey and, and played with some poultry. Yeah, we had a good time. Definitely. Uh, definitely give a shout out to Home Co. Make sure you get to Home Co early. Get your grilling and smoking supplies for the holiday. Make sure you get your turkey in advance. That's always one of those. Give your turkey a few days to thaw. Look, if you don't want to smoke turkey, come over and see us at Satchmo's. We're going to be smoking turkeys this year um, again. So reach out to us, give us a shout. Homeco has got all your supplies that you need for Thanksgiving. Uh, heck, they even have some of our poultry season over there. So go check out the Grand Canyon Spice Company poultry seasoning for your turkey this year. And uh, thanks, thanks so much for watching. Nah, Appreciate bad. you. <laughs>